I've been using Windows 10 for a little while now and I've come up with a list and that's the top 10 amazing Windows 10 shortcuts. Stick around because you know what time it is. Now if you haven't pulled the trigger yet and purchased Windows 10 for yourself or haven't upgraded, then I've supplied a link down in the description below where you can purchase it through Amazon. Alright then, let's pop over to the computer and see how this works. Number 10. Okay, so say for example, you have a couple of programs down on the taskbar and you wanna access them really, really quickly without the mouse. For example, I can see down the bottom here, Adobe Illustrator is at point number three. So one, two, three. So if I press Windows key plus three, Adobe Illustrator comes up. If I do the same for Premiere, which is four, Windows key four, that one comes up. And we've got Simplify 3D here. So Windows key five and so forth. So that's just a really, really nice way of opening up a program without actually using your mouse. Number nine. All right, so say for example, there's something going on. You just need to get straight back to the desktop. All you need to do is hold down the Windows key and press the letter D. Bam, everything's gone. It's not actually closed down. It's just minimized and they're still there. Number eight. So for this one, it's the action center. So to access that really quickly, just hold down the Windows key and press A. And then you've got access to all the action center-ness. Number seven. This setting is really simple and it's really easy to use. It's for the settings section of Windows 10. So all you need to do is hold down the Windows key and press I. And there you go. Number six. This is a really cool feature of Windows 10 and that is virtual desktops. Now say for example, you've got a whole heap of apps here and you're quite happy working along, but it's like, mm, or I've, I've got to do a screen record or something like that and I don't want any of those apps to be there. So if you hold down the Windows key, Control and D for dog, you're presented with a new desktop. Now if you press the Windows key and tab at this stage, it will bring up all the different desktops that you've got and also allows you to close one down. So let's close down the one we just created and we're back to normal. Awesome. Number five. This is really handy if say for example, you need to run to the loo or something like that. All you need to do, press the Windows key and L and it will lock your computer. Then when you're ready to come back, you can log back in and all your apps are still there. Number four. So say example, you want to zoom in on something. You can press the Windows key and the plus key. And to get back out, you can Windows minus and we're back to normal. Number three. This little trick here is to do with Windows and Windows snapping. Now I have covered this in another video, but I'll quickly go over it again. So if you hold down the shift key and click on the Explorer icon there, it will open up a new window. And what you can do from there is hold down the Windows key and press left arrow and you open up a new window and press Windows key right. Now you've got Windows snapping. If you want a more detailed explanation of Windows snapping, click on the I in the top right hand corner. Number two. This is a really cool tool for anyone that wants a little bit more control over their Windows 10 system. So if you hold down the Windows key and press X, there we go. You've got program and features straight away, power options, event viewer, which is really handy for debugging any problems with a Windows 10 system. You've got system information, device manager, network connections, disk management if you're looking to format new hard drives, and command prompt and command prompt with admin. So really, really powerful menu that is really simple to access and is really, really excellent. Number one. Okay, so this is one of my favorite Windows 10 shortcuts and this is opening a new Explorer window. So if you hold down the Windows key and press E, up comes another window. Press it again, and up comes another window. So this is really, really handy if you don't wanna go down to here and hold down the shift key to open up a new window. Instead, it's just two keys, Windows and E. Bam. All right, well, did I miss one of your favorite Windows 10 shortcuts? Or maybe one of these shortcuts really helped you out? 
leave me a comment down below and let me know. That's it for another episode. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even leave me a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm providing here, then make sure you subscribe to this channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.